Hi everyone, you're watching RTT News. I'm Sarah Kajumko with your afternoon political update for Monday, July 26. The United States Navy is in South Korea to take part in joint military exercises. 8,000 people from both countries will take part, as well as 20 ships and 200 aircraft. But North Korea has made numerous threats about the drills. Even though they haven't been proven authentic, the White House is condemning a website that posted thousands of military reports. Officials say the information could threaten national security and put the lives of Americans at risk. The reports show detailed descriptions of raids and even unreported deaths of Afghan civilians. BP is expected to name a new CEO following its board meeting today. Robert Dudley is considered the most likely choice as a new head of the embattled oil giant. He has been in charge of BP's response to the Gulf spill ever since Tony Hayward relinquished his duties. And Vladimir Putin welcomed the 10 Russian spies expelled from the United States this week. He reportedly joined them in a patriotic song and then promised them a bright future. The 10 spies were not charged in the United States. That's your afternoon political update for Monday, July 26th. I'm Sarah Kajamko. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for more news updates throughout the day.